First Alert Forecast with meteorologist Jan Ryherd. Well, as we look at the radar picture right now, a lot of rain, a lot of green on the radar picture. Uh, that's going to stay the case through a large portion of the holiday weekend for us. You'll notice a little bit of yellow and orange there to the south towards the Washington area around Sigourney as well. That's where we're looking at the heaviest of rain right now. And even then, it's still not that heavy. This is what it looks like in Sigourney at this time. If you look closely, you'll be able to see some of those raindrops coming down. Obviously, plenty of uh, wet pavement there on the ground. Into the afternoon, we'll keep the rain chances going still a little bit even this evening, but uh, rain chances kind of winding down as we head through the latter half of the day. Showers still possible, though, for the balance of the daylight hours today. A bit of a break in the action tonight. Tomorrow, cloudy skies too. Fog, though, remains highlighted during this time as we will see even some uh, potentially dense areas of fog lingering over the next couple of days, not just in the morning hours, but even still into the afternoon too. Here's today's zone cast with that chance for showers, mainly in the southern part of our northeastern zone from 46 in Strawberry Point today, 45 in the Dubuque and Farley areas. In our northwestern zone, we'll climb to around 47 in Fairbank, Parkersburg, Shell Rock, both around 49. Our central zone, a little bit warmer, better shot at rain here. Look for 47 in Coggin, Anamosa, 49 in Blairstown, even 50 in Tama. And as we head through our southern zone, more 50s, Kyoto, Washington, Richland, all up to around 51 with 50 for Williamsburg and Iowa City. Pinpoint Futurecast shows that swath of rain moving through the area here through the afternoon by this evening. Cloudy skies with us overhead into the day on Saturday. Still dealing with those clouds, maybe even a few peaks of sunshine for us by tomorrow. Uh, but tonight, still plenty of cloud cover. That actually helps to keep our temperatures fairly moderate, only dipping down to the low and middle 40s. Washington, Mount Pleasant down to around 47 tonight. That's low for this time of year. We'd normally be in the middle teens. Very, very mild air for us at this time. Over the next couple of days, we'll keep things pretty mild. Look for more chances for uh, rain as we head through Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, but those cloudy skies overhead for us tomorrow. Those low to middle 50s, pretty persistent over the next several days. Rain chances, while we do get a break tomorrow, they will persist as we head into Sunday and even still into Monday, Christmas Day there. You'll notice off to the west, Dakotas towards Nebraska, down towards Kansas City could even see a little bit of that frozen precipitation trying to mix in too. So uh, if you are traveling to those areas, take note and uh, maybe adjust travel plans as needed for those areas here in eastern Iowa, though, keeping everything as liquid temperatures for us there into the 50s, low middle 50s for us through tomorrow, uh, Sunday and Monday there too. Rain chances even linger for us into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week as temperatures start to fall back into the 40s. 30s start to take over as we head through the end of the nine-day forecast, but we're still above average there. Uh, Iowa State Bowl game and now on the nine-day for us. Obviously not here, but I wanted to give them a little call out and we'll have the uh, Iowa Bowl game come up here in a couple days too on the nine day. Yeah, so. that'll be here before we know it. Yeah, it's uh, you know, all the holidays, uh, all the, the fun festivities, but uh, not necessarily feeling like Mother Nature uh, got the memo that it is the holidays. <laughs> right, and then it snowed on Halloween this year. <laughs> it did, it did. Yeah, I, we're, we're all, all turned around. I think high 37 with snow on Halloween and 50s with rain for Christmas. <laughs> Just silly. Very Midwestern. <laughs> exactly. All right, thanks, Jan.